hey ladies welcome back to my channel it's been a while since I've actually sat down and recorded a video that I have to edit and upload I mean I do have a lot of videos that I've uploaded on my channel a couple um, a couple weeks ago but those videos are unlisted so if you're not in my group or you're not a member of my patreon you wouldn't have access to those videos but here I am making a video I know it's been a while so in today's video we're gonna talk about how to stop chasing men and this this is a very important topic because I feel like a lot of women are chasing men and they don't even know it so I'm gonna also give you five ways that you are chasing men and you don't even know it so ladies this is 2020 it's just coming out of a three month lockdown and I know a lot of people are desperate and can't wait to get back out there and start dating again I know I was able to go out tonight for the, for, for the first time in a long time and it felt good so I know exactly how you ladies feel however I want you ladies to be smart about you know dating and not be not be desperate out there do not be a certain dog do not get yourself in trouble don't chase men so <laughs> men are not the prize period men are not the prize so ladies you have to a lot of women are out here chasing men men are not the prize men have never been the prize and will never be the prize okay ladies we are the ones that have the womb we are the ones that bring forth life the egg doesn't chase the sperm okay that's what um, a wise woman once told me and it is very much true and you know when you are chasing men you are basically in your masculine and you're putting yourself in the position of you know the aggressor which is not um, acting in your feminine and it's gonna work against you because men like to be the ones that chase because they really enjoy this chase and you know once they chase and you know they, they finally get what they want it's it's so much more rewarding to them and by chasing them you're taking away that from them if you want to know what are the five ways you are chasing a man and you don't know please stick around and please keep on watching and um, yeah let's get into these five ways to tell when you're chasing a guy okay number one if you are the one that spoke first if you're usually the one that go when you go out you're the one that introduce yourself first you're the one that starts conversation conversation first you're the one that asks you are the one that arrange a date first that's how you know you are chasing a guy and I know nowadays, you know, with the feminists and stuff like that, they say that, you know, it's okay for women to take the initiative. It's okay for women to take the, take, um, you know, take the, make the first move. That's all fine and good. That's fine. If that's what you want to do, that's your prerogative. But if you are a high value woman and you are looking for a high value man who is masculine, who is a provider, um, you know, etc., and who is well, who is well off, who is successful, who is smart you have to let the man come to you there are ways that you can you know get a guy to talk to you person you know maybe you can get a friend to introduce you to this person but it's always wise to allow men to chase you because by you talking to him first and arranging the date first it's not a good look for you and it's not um you know something it's not what i would call call feminine okay so that's number one number two when you are the one that is always texting and calling first if you are always the one initiating conversation via text or phone calls and hear me out it's okay to text a guy you know from time to time however if you're the one that is doing the majority of the the initiation of texts and phone calls that's an obvious sign that you are the one that's chasing but for some some reason women don't realize that this is a sign that they are chasing a guy but yeah that is an obvious sign that you are chasing this guy i think it's time to be honest with yourself and admit that this guy is not really into you he's not that into you if a guy is really into you and a guy really wants you he will chase you and he will be the one initiation conversation they have time and you know even if he's not that into you that is okay not every guy is going to be into you but if you are given a, a man a certain guy attention or whatnot he is going to sleep with you he is because men would not turn down easy pussy or free pussy or anything like that what i've noticed is that even though they don't turn it down 
it's like they treat women like that with contempt and i just think it's really sad and you are way better than this you are way better than chasing a guy okay number three when you are talking too much if you're on a date and you find yourself talking a lot and you find yourself trying to fill in the um the lulls in the conversation you know like maybe there's like a silent pause or something and you find yourself talking just to fill in the silence that's when you are chasing a guy that's a sign that you are the one that is chasing and i know this is a very subtle one and a lot of women don't realize this but if you're the one if you feel like you have to talk and you have to keep the conversation going maybe to keep him interested or not you know um, so that he doesn't get bored of you or whatnot there are many reasons that women do this and a, a lot of women do it especially when they are just getting to know a guy and usually they do that because they are seeking approval but if you find yourself doing that stop if you want a date and you're having a conversation and there's a pause in the conversation it's okay enjoy the pause let him be the one that jumps in and fill in the silence do not let that be you and and you know that is a sign that you are the one that is chasing him you see him as a prize get him off that pedestal and you see yourself as the prize moving on to number four number four <laughs> okay so when you in when you initiate sex or when you're usually the one to initiate sex first that's usually a sign that you are the one that is chasing and that can come in the sign of talking about sex first or having sex too soon. This is um, this is you chasing a guy, putting a guy on a pedestal, seeing him as a prize, seeking validation or whatever um, you, you, guys, you guys do nowadays. But yeah, that's a sign that you are the one that's chasing. And this guy is really not into you because usually if the guy is chasing, he is always going to be the one that is going to talk about sex first. He's going to be the one that initiates sex first. Also, if he is the one that is chasing and he sees you as his dream girl, he will wait as long as it takes to get to you, you know, get to have, you know, sex with you. So that's um, definitely um, a clear sign and I think it's a very obvious sign. But again, not, not many women are aware of this. They, they don't realize that they are, they are the one that's chasing in during dating or in a relationship. Okay, so number five, when you are always available. If you are always available, like if you answer his calls every time he every time he calls you, or if you always return his text immediately, or you know, that's what that's that means that you are too available. If he calls you for a last minute date, let's say he call you up and he's like, "Hey, I'm in town, let's go out." You're the one that's chasing. If a guy respects your time and he actually cares about you, and he sees you as the prize. He will respect your time and he's he's going to understand that your time is very valuable so if you if he can reach you at any time no matter what time of the day it is four o'clock in the morning midday whatever you are too available and that means you are the one that is chasing because you are the one that sees him as a prize if you ever see the man as a prize you will always be the one that is chasing and you know we do it indirectly and that's one of the indirect ways that you are chasing a guy. You are too available. I have a bonus tip after this, but before I get into that bonus tip, if you haven't signed up to my Patreon, please do. We have an event coming up this Thursday. So the name of that event is Low Hanging Fruit and Sitting Ducks. We are gonna talk about dealing with dealing with powerful men, particularly young women. We're gonna talk about why men go after younger women we're going to talk about you know um the myth of hitting the wall we're going to talk we're going to uh, also discuss the story of monica Lewinsky. we all know she was only 21 when she started working in the white house very young and impressionable so if you are under the age of 30 or if you even if you're over 30 if you have um daughters you need to sign up for this event because this is going to be a good one okay so i'm going to leave the link in the description ladies Hit the link in the description, join my Patreon, and also follow the Hypergamous Mindset on Instagram. And yeah. <laughs> so my bonus, my bonus tip to know how you are chasing men is, drum roll. 
when you have to go out of your way to meet up with this guy i've i've heard some crazy stories in my lifetime and i'm hearing stories of women driving for two hours like getting in their car driving for two hours to meet a guy the, that guy isn't putting in any kind of effort at all and the way the where where i come from the men are usually the ones that go out of their way and if the woman is doing that people laugh at them it's funny because you know it and it's stupid it really is stupid so if you are going out of your way to meet up with a guy you know he's always choosing um dates where you have to drive if every single date that he's arranging to meet with you and it's usually closer to where he lives and you know you have to go out of your way you have to literally, literally drive out of your tongue or whatnot to meet up with this guy that's a very bad sign this guy sees himself as a prize he doesn't care about you he really doesn't give a shit you are chasing him so ladies please stop doing it do not get in your car and drive to meet a guy and then you have to drive back home like ooh, like why would you do that that is like so gross so yeah um that's another way that you ladies are chasing men and you don't even know it so ladies be careful let the men come to you because they are the ones that are supposed to be chasing they are men let them be men please do not take this away from them you know don't take their manhood away from them stay in your feminine and let these men step into their masculine and do the right thing so so ladies that is all i have for this video i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all you ladies that have been here from day one um if you're a new subscriber welcome you know welcome to the family if you're new here please subscribe like this video girl share this video and you know make yourself at home but anyway ladies thank you so much i guess i'll see you ladies in another video hopefully i'll see you ladies over on, on my patreon um in my zoo in our zoom meetings because you know this is going to be so this is going to be so much fun and it's going to be very very informative and helpful so yeah see you guys see you guys soon bye